Our playoff march slowly drags forward as the Leafs lose in overtime to the Colorado Avalanche. Okay, I must admit, I'm surprised that the Leafs lost for a couple of reasons. First of all, Colorado sent their backup goaltender against us, and I was kind of hoping that the Leafs would go undefeated against backup goalies this year. Second of all, it's Jay Shigir. He has been injury prone with the Leafs, and he hasn't been playing that well as a result. So I was kind of hoping that he would play terribly against the Leafs, and a lot of Leaf fans were predicting 4-2 Leaf wins. I think one of them predicted a 7-1 Leafs win. I think one of the guys at the Hockey Central panel predicted that too, but didn't look like that didn't fan out that way. But anyways, in the first period, nothing really happened. Um, Liverpool took a penalty, and Hayduk took a couple of penalties, and the Leafs couldn't capitalize on that. Second period, Kessel starts things off with a bang as he shoots past Jaguar, and he gets his sixth goal of the season, uh, and that's a league-leading uh, sixth goal, as well as I think uh, he's got nine points now, uh, and that leads the league in the goals and points category, and it's one nothing Leafs. And after that, Reimer makes a check on a player behind the net, and that's not something you see often from a goalie, but still a pretty good move. And then later, uh, Winnick scores, and it's a two on two, and wow, he scored five hole on Reimer. I mean, I just don't understand. Reimer's too good to be scored on through the five hole. I mean, it's James Reimer, not Vesatoskala. And anyways, um, David Steckel afterwards uh, hits Landis Gog, and <laughs> well, that's, there's no bigger welcome to the NHL than that. And well, afterwards, Bozak gets penalized right after Kuhlman missed the empty net uh, and hit the post. And Bozak gets penalized, and unfortunately, Hayduke scores uh, in its 2-1 Colorado lead. I think they're calling it the 19th hole uh, because it went underneath his catching arm. Well, that's just terrible. But anyways, in the third period, O'Byrne gets penalized. Phaneuf nearly gives the puck away to Lidstrom. Well, actually, he did give the puck away. And Reimer stops him there. He bailed him out pretty much, and... Uh, well, things were sort of on and off for the rest of the period, but luckily, as the period was winding down, Nikolai Kuhlman makes up for missing the post in the second by scoring, tying the game at two, and we are going into overtime. Unfortunately, uh, just over a minute into the overtime, uh, Randy Jones takes a pass, and he, well, Reimer tried to close the open left side of the net, but he just wasn't quick enough. And the Leafs suffer their first loss of the season, and it looks like they won't be going on a 10-game winning streak like I predicted they would. So, well, at least the point streak is still alive. Kessel's still leading the lead in goals and points, and um, the Leafs, I think they're still in third because they did get a point from this game. So, hey, at least we lost in overtime. And I'd rather restrict our losses to overtime losses. This way it'll help us better uh, get into the playoffs, um, you know, just in case, well, just in case we don't have a good game. Uh, at least not offensively. Um, but anyways, I uh, just want to give another shout out to the guys at WeWantACup.com. And until after the Leafs versus Jets game with, for the first time in 15 years, Go Leafs, go!